Hello, everybody. My name is Harvan. Hello, everybody. My name is Anne. And we are working on in the Code Refinery project. And in this video, we will give a short overview over the Git introduction lesson. And why do we teach this lesson? Uh, it's one of our core topics. And we teach it because we we are convinced that everybody should be using version control in their work. And even if even if you are working alone. And of course, there are many version control systems out there, but we we focus on Git and GitHub because these are very popular. So huge exposure network effect. We believe it's good for the participants to to know how these mechanics of these tools. Uh, most learners uh, of our code refiner workshops have developed code or scripts to some extent. Um, majority of our participants have some experience with Git, but but often they do not feel really super comfortable with all the mechanics. And often I think they like a really good mental model of what is really happening. And some of our participants have never used Git before, so that can be a challenge to balance the different levels of experience. But really what we try to do is to give our participants a confidence to create and contribute uh, with Git. And maybe we can have a look at uh, the lesson itself and discuss some of the learning outcomes. Yeah, so I will uh, share now the lesson, which is a typical code refinery lesson. So you have the instructor guide here, which I can open. Uh, usually I read it before teaching. And uh, I think this one is quite comprehensive. Uh, and it shows, uh, it explains how to teach a lesson. So, uh, and especially, I think we try to be quite slow at the beginning, because as uh, Radhavan mentioned, some of our learners are not very confident yet with it. So this is mostly what we are explaining here. Um, so in terms of uh, different aspects, uh, so the motivation, we remind, I think it's always good to remind the motivation. That's what we do and that's what uh, Radhavan did. Yeah, we also then uh, show or uh, uh, discuss a real example on GitHub and show some yes. of these aspects to show where we want to get to after the, after the lesson. So I think it's, is it in the basics or in this in example? The, in the motivation part. In the motivation part, which we mm. can go here. Uh, yes, I think it's just below. Yes. Here. And the real life examples. Mm -hmm. And I think if we have time, uh, if you have time like face-to-face -face meeting, it's nice to be in the groups where they can discuss this real, mm -hmm. real uh, life example and really try to browse and uh, see what you can really do ideally in a project because it's a very super nice project. Um, then, I mean, the, after the basics, which is uh, most of the time a reminder for at least a large part of the learner, um, we really go more into details and uh, it's really how you can use Git yourself for your own project. So it's not the collaboration aspect yet, but it's really to go a full extent and exploiting the Git, like uh, um, how, how to use a Git staging area, undoing things, branching and merging. Uh, and here we probably maybe only explain technically how we do this. Uh, and don't put mm -hmm. yet emphasis on why we do it yet. We do it later, I think. Um, right, and we also at this point, we don't really discuss branching strategies, but we really prepare for the collaborative Git, which is a different lesson where we really need yeah, the so branching. Yeah, so in the branching merging, this is really to explain the mechanics of uh, branching and merging and what it really means to make a branch in a, in, in Git. And uh, what I notice is sometimes they don't realize this is like a commit. It's related to a commit uh, hash. And they always feel this is much more complicated uh, behind. So it takes a bit of time for the learner to master this aspect. So I think it's good to introduce branching and merging here. And then we go, it, go back to it when we do the collaboration. Uh, we do a bit of conflict resolution. Um, but and the sharing repository, most of the time you can skip it if you don't have time at this stage. 
uh, and uh, then you have to do it later on when you do the deep collaboration. Inspecting history, which I think we should go into the lesson, super important part. Um, it looks like a, a list of different toolbox you can use uh, for Git. Uh, it maybe uh, doesn't make sense for all the learners when they go through it during the code refinery, but usually the feedback afterward is uh, this is super useful. Yeah, so, so don't what, skip it. What we do there is we first introduce the tools, yeah. uh, show what you can do with it, but then we have uh, exercises where uh, participants in groups can apply these tools and do some archaeology in uh, somebody else's repository. And this is, I think, really important for reproducibility yes. to, to know about these tools. We also have this, uh, this more uh, like this bisect exercise, which we usually, we don't necessarily have time to go through, but it's good to know. I think it's always like a tool good to know for later. So even if they don't have time to do all the exercises. Right. It's good to know that it exists. Um, as I think this is, uh, this is it. We have many optional um, episodes, which are not crucial for a code refinery workshop, but very useful for later on, like e-learning. At least this is how I use this lesson myself. Mm -hmm. Last one. And yeah. The last one, uh, there is this uh, practical advice how much Git is necessary. Super useful. Yeah. And I think this is good. So we always try to conclude with this one where we try to convey that it's always a balance and it's okay to start with one branch and later add more branches and really how to approach a project when you are starting. And so we always try to conclude with this uh, episode. Yeah. And I think it's good because it, uh, it makes it more. Um, they feel co more confident that they will be able to master all mm -hmm. the different uh, uh, functionality of Git, but not in, in one day, that you need time and you can try to, to fit what is useful yeah. for you at the beginning. It's yes. Really progression. And, and maybe before we stop also a few points about, so of course there is room for improvement in that lesson. So a few things that we, would like to improve is that right now maybe there is a maybe a bit too much focus too early about undoing and get staging area possibly so maybe that we put more focus on really creating branches often we don't have really the time to discuss strategies for starting projects or converting projects to get how to contribute how to organize uh, your group and we have often not enough time to discuss branching strategies. So this is something we could consider adding later. And we really look forward to your ideas and yeah. contributions. Welcome feedback yeah. all the time. Yeah, thanks for listening. Yes, thanks. <laughs>